break. What?
Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Away! Run! Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said, if I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there, and in one piece. Even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. We're under the lake ice, aren't we? Look. That's the bottom of the temple.
We've fallen a long way. What now, I wonder? What now? Uh, you act first and think later, don't you? I mean, can't you be a little more responsible? We're all depending on you, you know? A lecture. No, no, no. <laughs> Just a suggestion. You should place trust in your friends. But you can't expect someone to protect you all the time. You would do well to remember that. Is that a lecture? It's advice. <sighs> hey, Waka, would you cheer up? I, look, we only did what we had to do. It doesn't matter, don't you see? I've always walked the path of Yevon. But now, I'm a traitor! How could this happen? Damn! It's not Riku's fault either. Huh? <sighs> you don't know how I feel. I'm sure Yuni's okay. She's breathing fine and all. How are Lulu and Waka? Hmm, well, Waka's in shock. Can't blame him either. And Lulu, well, she's just the same as always. She's so together. All grown up, I guess. I guess. Well, just give me five or six more years. So, Kamari, how do we get out of here? Hey, don't change the subject. We climb. Kimari too! Only those who try will become. Huh? I think he means you have to work hard if you want to be like Lulu. Oh, I will. Kimari think Riku should stay Riku. Huh? Hey, are you saying I'll never be like Lulu? Kimari! <laughs> You laugh at a time like this. <sighs> Yuna? I wanted to confront Maester Seymour about his father, Lord Jiskol. I wanted to convince him to turn himself in to Yevon's judgment. In exchange for marriage? Yes, if that's what it took. So, what did Seymour say? He didn't say anything. Now, I... Now I don't even think it was worth it. I should have told you what I was going to do. Enough! Dwelling in the past is futile. Hey! You don't have to say it like that! You want to waste time listening to her regrets? You don't have to say it like that. Our immediate concern is Yuna's pilgrimage. Are you willing to go on? Yes. But then, do you think Yevon will allow it? The Faith are the ones that give power to the summoners. Not the temples or the teachings. If the temples try to stop us, then we will defy Yevon if we must. Whoa! I can't believe you said that! Sir Oren? Count me out. We have to atone, to make up for the sins we have committed. Of course. It's not like I ever liked Maester Seymour, yeah? No way I'll ever forgive him for killing Lord Jiskel. And for trying to do us all in two, you know? But still... The bunch of us going against Yevon? No way! But still, we have transgressed, and must face our punishment. We must go to Bevel. We must speak with Maester Micah, and explain what has happened. There is no other way, I think. I agree. Uh, 
Sir Oren? So it is decided. Will you come with us? I am the troublemaker, after all. Yeah, that's right! You can always count on Aaron to complicate things. Yeah! Kamari roars and Aaron runs off, and... I never asked you to follow me. Hey, but that's what friends are for. Right? Yep. Thank you. Huh? Friends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can you all act like nothing's wrong? Must got nerves of steel or something. You're too edgy. Listen to the hymn and calm down. Is that coming from the temple? Yes, it is Yevon's gift. It soothes the hearts of the faithful. I'm sure that Maester Micah will listen to us. Jack used to sing this song. <laughs> yeah, over and over. <laughs> but not this good, that's for sure. Another trait you share. Uh, what? You were listening? Jeez, can I get a little privacy? Your singing reminded me of Spira. Oh, right. You're not originally from Xanarkin, are you? You homesick? Maybe. Say, how'd you get to Xanarkind anyway? Sin? Uh-huh. I thought so. That proved it. Sin was the link between Xanarkind and Spira. Which means, if we kill Sin, I'll never be able to go home. The singing stopped. There's something here! The ground. Sin! The toxin, watch out! It was then I knew that Sin really was my old man. For the first time, I was finally able to believe it. The song you were listening to. What is it this time? Xanarkind. Ah, you homesick too? That's not your world anymore. You're sin now. Hey, I'm older now, you know? I know. 
You want this to end. I'll find a way, promise. Ah! <gasps> 